black god white devil devil black god white devil portuguese deus e o diabona terra do sol literally god and the devil in the land of the sun is a 1964 brazilian film directed and written by glauber rocha the film stars off on bastos mauricio duval yona magalhees and geraldo del rey it belongs to the cinema novo movement addressing the socio-political problems of 1960s Brazil. The film was released on DVD in North America for the first time by Cocklorber Films. Plot The film starts in the 1940s, during another drought in the Sertão, when ranch hand Manuel Geraldo del Rey is fed up with his situation. His boss tries to cheat him of his earnings and Manuel kills him, fleeing with his wife, Rosa Yona Magalhees. Now an outlaw, Manuel joins up with a self-proclaimed saint who condones violence at one point slaughtering a baby and preaches disturbing doctrines. It is now Rosa who turns to killing and the two are on the move once again. And so it goes, the two running from one allegiance to another, following the words of others as they attempt to find a place in their ruthless land. Blending mysticism, religion and popular culture in this symbolic and realistic drama racha insists that rather than follow the external and obscure dogmas of culture and religion man must determine his path by his own voice cast geraldo del rey as manuel yona magalhees as rosa Athan bastos as carisco mauricio duval as antonio das mortz Lidio Silva as Sebastião, Sonia das Humildes as Dada, Joe Gomez Priest, Antonio Pinto as Colonel, Milton Rosa as Maurice as Milton Rhoda, Rock Santos as as Rock. Production Glauber Rocha was 25 years old when he wrote and began to direct the film. Its filming took place on Monte Santo and Canudos, that had lasting from June 18, 1963 to September 2, 1963. In the scene where we see Manuel Geraldo del Rey carrying a huge stone over his head while climbing Monte Santo on his knees, del Rey insisted on carrying a real stone that weighted over 20 kilos, something that worried Racha. After the shooting, del Rey had to take two days off due to fatigue. During the dubbing of the sound, Othon Bastos performed three voices. Besides dubbing himself as Carrasco, he performed the voice for Lampio, whom Carrasco had incorporated and also dubbed Sebastião, the black god, even though Lidio Silva played the character on screen. Reception Critical Reception Film review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes reported an approval rating of 100%, based on 12 reviews with a rating average of 8.5-10. A. H. Whaler from the New York Times praised the film, calling it simple, black and white, more arresting as a shocking polemic. Ted Shen from the Chicago Reader wrote, The fusion of European and Afro-Brazilian elements dialogue, exquisite black and white images, and music by Villa Lobos is startlingly original, and poetical in conveying the hope and despair of the oppressed. Time Out magazine praised the film's style as being somewhere between folk ballad and contemporary myth, since the references to Brazilian history and culture are pervasive and fairly opaque to the uninitiated. Awards The film was nominated for the Palme d'Or at the 1964 Cannes Film Festival, but failed to win. It was also selected as the Brazilian entry for the Best Foreign Language Film at the 37th Academy Awards, but was not accepted as a nominee. In 2015, it was voted number two on the Abraxine Top 100 Brazilian Films list.